I got some people in my DM asking me, Christine, why have you not been posting? It's been a long time since you last posted. What's wrong? What's happening? Are you coming back? <laughs> Welcome back to my youtube channel as you know it's your girl christine and oh my god it feels like a very long time I think roughly six months since i last said hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel most importantly before i start i really want to thank as many of you who reached out to me as many of you who showed me love i got some people in my dm asking me christine why have you not been posting it's been a long time since you last posted what's wrong what's happening are you coming back yes i am back now and i really want to appreciate you guys because some of you motivated me when i um explained to you how i lost my balance because of med schools med school is getting more demanding and trying to find the balance was really difficult for me and at some point i just lost track of time i was discussing with my friend i think a few days back a few weeks back and she was like christine when was the last time you posted i think it's up to a year and i'm like no i don't think it's up to a year that's way longer than i have in my mind and i told her probably six months and we checked and it was five months so for five months i abandoned you lovely people more than a thousand of you guys without any explanation without any update and i sincerely i really really sincerely want to say i am so sorry about that i would not say i have built the consistency i need for this year but truth is i am a work in progress so i am building myself and a very big shout out to my friend rachel i remember the night rachel called me she was like babe my friend is a celebrity <laughs> people are watching your video in the 7 11 i just entered i was like mm, what are you saying and then she encouraged me she said girl you cannot stop doing this because people are watching you people are seeing you i don't mind assisting you let me know how and when and a lot of my friends have also been pushing me sarah asking sarah was like girl don't give up like me so all those little little encouragements got me to find my step back to where I am today so a very big shout out to all of you for sticking with me 1.5 of you guys you didn't leave me you did not unsubscribe it means the world to me anyways um, today I'm going to be styling my locks I made these locks last week Sunday and today I'll be showing you guys how to style your locks in different ways um, some of them are really my go-to styles when, when I'm going to school, when I'm going to church, errands and everything. So I'll be putting you guys through some of the things you'll be needing for these um, styles. Uh, basically not much, just you may need a shoelace because you know, I really cannot tell you how much shoelace makes life easier. But girl when you start you figure it out when you start using this to pack your hair to style it you would understand you'll be needing some of this as well or rubber bands whatsoever you have would do so the first style i'm going to be doing is very easy and kind of like what my hair looks like already you just move some of the hair like you're doing a side parting so this is my side parting so you move it to one side, make sure you arrange it very well because the thing with this style is if you don't arrange it well, you look like you're confused, like you don't know what you were thinking or what you were trying to do. So you move it to this side and this is it already. You just let it be like this in the back. As simple as that. And one thing with this style is whenever it disturbs you or it's moving to the left to the right, you can just get two strands. See, this is more like another style, but you can also do this. So you take two strands from this side, two strands from here, two strands from here, from both sides, kind of underneath it. You don't take the strands from above, you take them from underneath and then just tie it at the back make a knot and then this is already another style see very simple
and this is very nice because it stops the hair from coming to your eyes covering your makeup packing your makeup like bro I did my face and made myself up not for you to be blocking the beauty but to reveal the beauty and now let's move on to the center parting center parting is basically just finding the center of the of the of the locks finding the center of the locks or the center of your hair like I said arranging it is very important you don't want to look confused yes so oh, I'm liking this one today okay arrange it very well okay so this is another style these are just basic styles like if you're new to styling your locks you should already be doing this or styling your braids and the good thing about these styles is that you can also use them for braids because you know braids are just single um, strands they're not really like the corn rolls, they're single strands of braids and you can basically style them, you can maneuver them. And guys, if your locks are new, you should be very mindful of the styles you make. If your locks are new, you might want to do more of the lay down styles so you don't really apply too much pressure to your scalp when you start packing into buns and everything like that. So you might want to really go for the basic styles and also, you can also do the same thing, two strands from underneath, take it back. See, I really like this one. I like doing this because it shows your face, like, it reveals the beauty that you are. So, the next style I will be going for is actually another kind of basic, but not so, so basic. I mean, it can look basic, but you can also switch it up. So, I'll be packing my hair partly into a bun so it's like half up half down so instead of taking everything into a single bun i'll be putting some part of it into a bun and then i'll be letting down some at the back so let's do that by the way guys what are your plans for this year do you have major visions you've written for yourself this year um, for me personally, one thing I'm learning to do is to write out my plans for the year. I realized that when I was reflecting on last year, there, there were a lot of things I did not take note of. But because I did not really set out my plans or set out my goals for the beginning of the year, I really did not appreciate those things. And it kind of makes you feel like you're not really moving because you're not really drafting out what you want to achieve. So for me this year, one thing I'm intentional about is actually writing out my goals, writing out my vision. In case you don't want to use the shoelace or the hairband, you can also make use of the locks itself or the braids. So you just take two strands, that's if you want to make use of the locks or braids, if you don't have a, if you don't have a hair scrunchie or a hairband or shoelace i mean why don't you have a shoelace don't you wear shoes <laughs> so yeah you can just use two strands of the locks and you use that to make a bun see this is something you can do if you just realize oh i didn't come out today with my hair band or my hair scrunchies so you can do this so yep this is it one thing i like about this one it, it shows your face and it shows the hair Something else I like to do is to make this into a donut. We call this donut, or maybe you can call it a bun. Depends on how you actually roll it. Some people, if they roll it neatly, it becomes a donut. Some people, if you just like, just twist it, twist it, twist it, it becomes a bun. Another way to switch this style up is to actually just let down two from the sides and then look for two from the sides not the middle because i feel if you get them from the center pattern it just blocks your face and i really cannot deal with things coming close to my eyes like you can stay anywhere but not my eyes so reach out for these two you can also make this back into a bun mm -hmm. 
you can let me know which of these styles are your faves um just let me know in the comment section do you like it laying down on your body do you like them packed up whatsoever you like just let me know this point guys i had to switch to recording without audio so i could make a voice over because the noise was really really getting unbearable actually i started playing around because this was not included in the styles i intended to recreate but then i was like mm, i see something here let's see and so i basically just pushed almost everything to one side i brought out some hair to my front and then i left some at the back you can see it's giving something i pray you can see if you cannot see i open your eyes to see <laughs> and then i also took the two strands i made everything like all to the left it's giving one style that was trending then one rihanna hairstyle and also you can take out two strands again like the others that's if you don't really want it touching your face and wow i actually fell in love with this style and personally i think it's going to look so good on a dress just a very simple dress and then you let the hair down it's definitely going to be fire this is just a video of me and my hair fighting the hair no green me self i know grief around so while i was preparing for the next hairstyle i started seeing a particular one also and the funny thing is i don't get these inspirations when i actually need to style my hair to go out and actually it's kind of like side part also i would just let it down and then bring some to the back normally you can use a pin to clip this in or a claw clip to just pin it there but this time around i was going to go for a band because i was thinking of how to make it stay firm stay steadfast and what I did was to pick up some strands at that point in which I was going to pack it and then just put the band not fully and not letting the strands come out fully just folding it in to give it like a messy look at the back and then this is the view from the side I really liked it I'm definitely going to recreate this one of these days can you see moving on to the next I am going to take some strands at the front center part of my head and i'm just going to pack them with the band bring all the strands out normally there's a style you can just roll it to make it look messy oh sorry struggles these are the struggles with these particular locks and after bringing them out you have to like really really arrange it like i said one thing with styling is you really have to be patient when it comes to making it look neat and making it look proper so i took out time to like straighten the strands really arrange it to be at the center of my head and to really look good and ah uh, this is not all normally to give it like the natural look you have to take two strands also and just pass it round the hair see so it looks like you actually did that with the strand instead of the band. And then after doing that, you also have to arrange very well, like fix it very well, still separate it at the center of the bone. Um, just bring it down. See, it's giving African queen. Ignore my edges. I am so tired of looking for perfect gel or edge control to use here in the philippines those are the struggles just look at this beauty look at it from the back i really love this one it's one of my go-to i really do this style quite often i really like it something else you can do is to pull out two strands again from the front like we did last time i think one of the very key thing we have to know in all of this is that the number two is very vital the number two is very very important you bring two out you use two to wrap it two is very important so that's the final look after bringing two down you can see the difference go for what you like at this point i was trying to be creative again but i could not understand this creativity i was trying to implement and all i did was to wrap back the um, two strands and try to push it more to the side i think i saw something similar either on pinterest or on instagram but uh, nah, it wasn't really giving what it was supposed to give now let's move on to a style that has to do with you packing everything together. Now I would advise you to start gathering them little by little from the top. Gradually you add those at the back. Try as much as possible to not um, make them tight. Just very light add them and then you can use your shoelace for this because 
as you can see the hair is quite much and i need something i can control something i can actually handle so just pass it around you can bring it to the front or you can tie it there make sure it's very strong make sure it's firm so it looks like from the front and just pass it back you see it's very very easy to manipulate with the shoelace pass it as much as you want until you feel satisfied with how tight it feels on your scalp always remember to not make it too tight and then you tie the knot there I'm sure we are all familiar to this particular style because even our natural hair we tend to pack it into this form so yeah this is what it looks like normally i like wearing um big earrings like hoop earrings on this hairstyle because I need something to accentuate my face and one thing you can also do is to also let down to the it's actually up to you but personally I don't really like that style I don't like bringing down two strands after doing this now to just go on to the next style you just wrap or roll um, the strands to form a donut again or a bun Wow, this is very large. I remember going to school with a style like this and everyone was like, doesn't it hurt? Is it not too much load? And my African cosmic told them, well, beauty is pain. <laughs> but as you can see, yeah, you can leave out some strands to make it look messy. Now, moving on to the next style is basically the same thing, but instead of putting it um, at the back or on the center of my head, I will be making it on the front side like look at it instead of taking it back i'm just packing it at the front there just go through the same step um quick shout out to my friend Iyufu. i'm sure she's the happiest she has been so hard on me posting her content i hope you're happy and proud <laughs> And actually, guys, I'm a braid stylist, so if ever you need someone to braid your hair in Cebu City, Philippines, you can contact me. I'll be leaving my Instagram below and my Facebook page below. For this last style, I have came across it on Pinterest. So all you have to do is make a side part, then you cut out the front and then leave the back. You braid the front first and then when you get to the down part, the tip, you use a band to lock it in. And also you bring the ones at the back to the side, close to where the first braid is. And then you also braid it. After braiding both of them, you pass it under, pass the smaller one under and insert it into the big one. Yes. You get the idea, right? So you also need pins for this hairstyle because you need to actually attach the small one to the big one. As you can see that space in there, that's where you need to use the clip the pin this is what it looks like pay attention to the space in between that's why you need the pins that's why you need the clips one thing i like about locks is that they are actually light compared to braids for me personally this one was very light on me so guys i hope you enjoyed this content thank you guys for sticking to the end of the video if you like this video like the video don't forget to subscribe share let me know what you think about it in the comment section and would you like to see more of these videos sending y'all my love bye take care stay safe kisses <laughs> Hold up, one last surprise. I decided to attach the struggles that comes with braids. The itching, oh my god. <laughs>